We're going to do another intersection problem. Uh, this time we're looking for a point of intersection between a plane and a line, uh, if any. It's possible this problem doesn't have a solution. So the, the picture that you want to have in mind this time, you've got a plane and you've got a line. Now, if the line happens to be kind of parallel to the plane, but through a point not on the plane, uh, then there won't be a solution to this problem. But hopefully we get lucky and we're looking at a situation that's something like this. Right? Now, so the line is not necessarily perpendicular to the plane. As long as it's not parallel, we can look for a solution. So we're looking for some point P which is common to both the line and the plane. Okay. Now, this is a problem that uh, a lot of students end up overcomplicating because by the time you kind of meet these types of problems, you, you have a lot of tools at your disposal. Um, and momentarily, you know, the next few videos are going to be problems dealing with distance where you know, you're doing projections and things like that. So you have this big toolkit now. Right? We have projections and, and cross products and all of these things and you're like, okay, what, do I, what am I supposed to actually use in this problem? Well, you don't really need any of those. What you really need is just a, a little bit of kind of common sense about what do we mean by point of intersection, right? So what do we mean? Well, a point of intersection is a point which is common to both the line and the plane, right? And since we know that this point x, y, z is on the line, well, what does that tell us? That tells us that x, y, z is 3 minus 3 minus 1 plus t times minus 1 to 1, and, you know, for some real number t. That's what it means to be a point on the line. Uh, or, in other words, in parametric form, x is going to be 3 minus t, uh, y is minus 3 plus 2t, and z is minus 1 plus t. Okay. Um, but this point is also on the plane. Well, in order for that to be a point on the plane, it has to satisfy the equation of the plane. This right here. Right? So we need to know that 2x plus y plus z is equal to 4. Right? So two things have to happen at the same time. One, this equation needs to be satisfied, so 2x plus y plus z has to equal 4. But at the same time, x, y, and z have to be given by these parametric equations for some value of t. What do we do? Substitute. So 2 times 3 minus t plus um, minus 3 plus 2t for y plus minus 1 plus t. Plug that in for z. That has to equal 4. Right? Well, now we just have we've got an equation involving just a single variable, right? This parameter t. So let's think about what we get when we clean up here. So we have um, minus 2t plus 6 minus 3 plus 2t minus 1 plus t. Right? Um, if that line happened to be parallel to the plane, um, all the t's would cancel out here and you wouldn't be able to solve. But uh, we're in luck. That's not going to happen. Um, that's going to be equal to 4. Okay, so minus 2t plus 2t. Uh, 
Well, that's nice. That cancels. We just get t. Uh, and what do we have here? 6 minus 3 minus 1 is 2. Subtract that from the other side. t equals 2. Okay. Um, now let's make sure that we've answered the question. The question says, find the point of intersection. Do we have a point? No, we just have a parameter value. How do we get the point from the parameter value? Well, we go back to the equation of the line, or if you like, um, the parametric equations. Right? So that means that our point x, y, z will be, if we put x equals 2, 3 minus 2, we, or sorry, t equals 2 in x, we get 1. t equals 2 in y, minus 3 plus 4, it's also 1. And putting t equals 2 in for z, ah, we get 1 there as well. Okay, That's our point of intersection.